Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas part two. Mike <laughs> I'm the Christmas prince. <laughs> the Christmas prince. What was your line? Everyone got sad you didn't say it last week, right? Get ready for the jingle. <laughs> So today we have absolutely no plans. We are chilling at home. We were actually supposed to be doing a romantic weekend away. Actually, to be fair, I think we were gonna take River, but we canceled that a few weeks ago just because we've got a really, really busy kind of Christmas period in the next few weeks. And just, yeah, just thought it'd be nice to have a weekend at home on our own and just get the house ready for Christmas, Riv. What have you got there? My what? You gonna show everyone? Show me here. What is it? A watch. A watch. Run out of battery. Watches sometimes do run out of battery. My camera just ran out of battery. You show us what this what this is. It's a very wow. Okay, so the second battery in a row just died, but we're back and we are having a mammoth tidy up of the kitchen. I just cleared out the fridge, which is it's been needed to do for a few weeks. To be fair, and we're now going to. This reminds me of like the old lockdown vlogs. We're gonna do the tidy up. Get ready. I'm also putting some bacon in for Rivy. This girl is obsessed with bacon. It's her favorite thing in the whole world. So we had a serious spring clean of the kitchen and now we also had a little mermaid marathon and we watched the first one and the second one didn't we Riff? Which one's your favourite? The one with Lemony. Melody. <laughs> Lemony. She's not called Lemony, she's called Melody. Melody. Melody, yeah. <laughs> um, and now we're in the playroom which I'm not gonna lie, River Wren, look at all this mess in here. My gosh. I think we need to have a big clean in here as well. Can we have a play? We can play first and then will you help me tidy? Mm, yep. Never gonna happen. Come back into the very tidy kitchen. What's going on here, you two? Uh oh, busted. You're right in there, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Watching Ice Age, the laziest Saturday in the history of Lazy Saturdays continues. You went for a cycle. I went for a cycle, so I'm, at least... I Me and like Ribby. I, I, I'm not lazy lazy, but I'm still... Me and Ribby are still in our PJs. I'm, I'm back in my PJs. <laughs> That's, That's the best, a cosy Saturday. Oh, cosy Saturday. Is this the best den ever? What, Riv, what is... That's River's tidy space. That's the tidy space, is it? Yeah, that's the, that's the toy box. That's the toy box. It's an open toy box. Doesn't look very tidy to me, does it, Scuba? And, um... <laughs> Someone else's You're right, Piggy. Okay, okay, deal. This dog. You're too much, Piggy. Too much. <laughs> You're so cute. You are the cutest. So whilst those guys have been making a den in the kitchen, I've been trying to tidy up in here. I've made I've made headway, but I swear to god I don't know how one little girl makes so much mess. She is the messiest girl in the whole world and she hates tidying up. But I've just been through everything. And you know, kids kind of have a knack of collecting stuff they don't need. I've just like organized everything and mixing things up. She is so bad at like keeping stuff together. It's like there's stuff everywhere in little bags. So like these bags will all be full of all sorts of different kinds of things. So I've basically just been through and organized everything. It's still a mess, but it's an organized mess. Remember the good old days when this was my office? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> There's a printer in the corner and my subscriber um, play button on the wall and that's about all that remains of this as an office. Sad times, guys. And this is what happens when Daddy does dinner. He asks for. River what she wants. <laughs> she ends up, I mean, it's not unhealthy, but pasta and peppers. River, are you gonna show everybody what's in your music box? Mm. What is it? My own ring. Your own ring. It's so fabulous. This might be a copyright issue. <laughs> How do you stop it? Um, look at this. Do you want to put it on to show everyone? No. It's a horsey, isn't it? Very precious. Look at this dog. You live the life, dog. You really do. 
Oh, Piggy, we love you. Look at that tail go. We love you, Piggy. We love you. <laughs> So Mike is chefing up dinner chili this evening. You changed your hat. No, do not give chili pepper to the guinea pigs. Mike literally keep, this is the pot for the guinea pigs. They're gonna be so happy tonight or tomorrow morning. So you guys might remember, we've had HelloFresh over the years, Mindful Chef. Um, we've tried a few, we've never tried Gusto before and we've just started using Gusto because basically since, I'd say like the beginning of, no, don't put that on there, don't put that on there. Since the beginning of um, lockdown, we were really healthy in the beginning when Mike was home all the time. And then when Mike went back to work, we have been just super not that healthy. Not like unhealthy, but not prepping like fresh meals for ourselves. And just going for like easy things like making a wrap or whatever and just not actually do, eating as many veggies as we we used to so anyway long story short we decided to go back to it really liking gusto so far we really liked hellofresh and mindful chef to be fair they all they all have their pros and cons hellofresh i really liked the actual food but it didn't have as good of vegan options for mike and when i was vegan as well mindful chef had more vegan options but it got a bit repetitive on the same kind of like base. There was a lot of like brown rice and stuff. And also it was a lot more expensive. Gusto so far, really yummy. They have quite a lot of um, kind of healthier, lighter versions. And also way more affordable, way more affordable than Mindful Chef, but also I feel like affordable in general. Although we're probably still in that honeymoon phase where they keep giving you discounts. Um, but yeah, what are you cooking tonight, Mike? Um, pad thai. Pad thai. Tofu pad thai. I'm back eating tofu again now that my thyroid has kind of stabilised. I don't go crazy on it, but I stopped eating it for a while. Um, the kitchen is looking all clean, which makes me so happy. You know that feeling when your house is clean and you're just like, I feel like clean house, clean mind. You're basically just waiting for me to come to I'm work. waiting for you to leave all this mess here. Look, it's, it's, oh, it's all so clean all around you. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'll come back and there'll be stuff everywhere. Looking good, Mike. Looking good. I like the little um, side of extras. Well, Riv. Overkill the, uh, the chili. Oh yeah, I don't want too spicy. Um, Riv and I are in the process of making these crackers, which I actually um, got given. We did this like cracker making. Quacker. Quacker. <laughs> quacker making um, session when I went to the Victor and Rolf event, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen a few weeks ago. And they actually gave me tons of extra ones because I loved it so much. And we're filling them. We're supposed to be having a dinner party next week. I say supposed to be because I'm not getting my hopes up with everything that's going on at the moment, but we're supposed to be having a dinner party with my school friends and their husbands. Um, there's going to be 10 of us. Hopefully, like I said, um, so we're actually filling them up. The boys' ones have got little bottles of um, gin, and then the girls' ones have got a lipstick and a hair clip. And I've just been through and written dirty jokes in all of them. And now, Rivy, are you tying a bow? Good job, Good job Riv. Um, <laughs> me and River still in our pajamas. Don't judge, guys. <laughs> it's any consolation. I've gone back into my pajamas. It's actually the first. I can't remember that. I can't remember the last time we stayed in our pyjamas all day. I mean, and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty it, glorious. It's pretty glorious. It's been a long time since we've had just like no plans at the weekend. Um, and then we're gonna have a nice bath. Uh, can I get in your bath with you tonight, Riv? Good yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Did not Sometimes see that one she coming. doesn't normally let me. But the one little dog, the feather on its back. <laughs> Cat, what others. are you doing? I'm okay. Is the cat being naughty? I can't see it. <laughs> pussy cat. Silly pussy cat. Where's Piggy? She's down there. Snuggle butts. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Mike just made a bowl of hot popcorn and left it. What an error, guys. What an error. Probably going to be gone for five minutes because he's getting wood for the fire. <laughs> We had a mild false start where the room slowly started filling with smoke. <laughs> but problem solved, problem solved. What should we watch tonight, Mike? I said I wanted to watch the new um, Guy Ritchie movie with um, Jason Statham in it. Hmm. Let's watch the trailer. Hmm. Oh, I'm not what sure. What happened to my popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> horror. Okay, so what Mike was talking about is Wrath of Man. We just watched the trailer. 
It does actually look good. I feel like we've seen the whole film in the trailer though. You know those films where they put no, a bit too much in the trailer? It's Statham, it's Richie. What more do you want? Just <laughs> Saturday night, got a fire. I what had are the other options? before you ate it all. <laughs> There's more in the kitchen though, isn't there? Yeah, I know you kitchen. bought a four pack. I know you bought a four pack. Um, he's cool. just press play. I mean, I don't and he's see just it. press play. I didn't. I am also now tackling what is almost the last of the Christmas wrapping. It might seem kind of early to finish my Christmas wrapping, but I really like to get everything done this weekend or by this weekend because next weekend time just disappears. We're actually hosting Christmas, hopefully. Um with my family this year. We weren't supposed to be, we were supposed to be at my mum's, who's having her kitchen done, but she's been set back like three or four weeks, so it's not gonna be finished in time. So we are hosting, which is very, very exciting. So I wanna have everything like sorted so that it's not crazy, crazy busy in the run up to Christmas. And then obviously we've got River's birthday like three days after Christmas. So there's a lot of wrapping to do, nearly finished, total curveball on the situation. We're going for Mark Wahlberg, infinite. I would say new movie, it's definitely this year. I don't know how new it is. Got no idea, but I'm kind of down with it. Let's see, do some wrapping, do some movie watching. Can you wrap your presents at the same time, save me a job? No, you have to actually wrap my presents. That's the one, one present you have to wrap is my present. The one present you have to buy and wrap, I'm not helping with. It's a hard it's life being you, Mike. Life. It is a hard life. So, hard. so I'm back upstairs now. Um, that movie was actually pretty good. Sorry, Rose, actually, I was sleeping in our bed and she's totally waking up because I was talking too loud. That movie was actually really good. I, well, not really good, but it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. Um, and <laughs> I hope today's vlog hasn't been too super boring because we have literally done nothing. But I feel like the older I get, the less bothered I am about the fact that we're actually not doing anything. But I do feel like there's pressure when you vlog to be doing exciting things. And we have done zero exciting things today. It's been like total rest day. Um, in the run up to Christmas, I feel like you need those sometimes, right? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all really well. And hopefully see you next week. I think I'm going to be vlogging on Friday, or Thursday next week. Because we're going to the Blenheim Palace um light trail outside which is really exciting so um see you next week bye and bye from piggy who is in possibly the most hilarious little spot piggy you look like a bat you're so funny and scooby's got itchy ears you right scoobs hey you right scooby and if, in case anyone's wondering about treacle she's here too she's been snoring whilst she's still awake a lot of people went through a phase when I don't know if it was last year where everybody thought Treagle was not here anymore. She is. She's just quiet and she just kind of does her own thing. Can you hear her snoring? She snores when she's awake. When she's asleep, she really snores. <laughs>